So first I'm going to be applying the Miel Organics Coil Sculpting Custard. I'm just going to apply this all over my hair. For this I like to add all of my products to my hair and smooth them through and then twist my hair afterwards. So here I'm just going to apply this custard all over my hair in each section. This Miel Custard has a lot of slip. And as you can see, um, once you apply it to your hair, it turns into sort of like a foam. Um, so it helps for you to distribute the product. So I'm just going to apply this all over my hair before adding my second product. Mm -hmm. So here I'm just going to add a little bit more water to my hair um, before I add my second product um, just because I didn't feel like my hair was wet enough. Um, as you can see once I added more water to this product it becomes even more foamy which I like. Um, I probably definitely could use this product as a wash and go. I haven't tried it yet um, but I do want to try it in the future. So next I'm going to add the wet line extreme gel um the only reason why i combined these two gels is just because i feel like the wet line gel has just a little bit more hold than the miel organics gel um so i decided to layer these two products to see if i can get a little bit more hold with my twist out so once i have all of the products applied to this first section i'm going to begin twisting my hair I find that when I have good definition on my hair before I start twisting my hair, then um, my twist out is usually going to come out pretty good. Um, I know a lot of people usually use creams and stuff with their twist outs, but I just find that my hair just works better with a gel or a mousse. And I find that this gel kind of turns into a mousse-like texture, um, so that's why I also like using this product for a twist out. So this is what my twists are looking like so far. Um, I'm trying to do my twists in small to medium sections um, just because it helps them to dry a little bit faster.
here are my twists all done. Um, I'm going to sit under my dryer for at least 30 minutes. Um, but I don't plan on taking these twists out until the next day. So it's been about 24 hours since I installed my twist and now I am ready to start taking them down. So I pretty much like to unravel my twist in the opposite direction that I twisted it initially. Um, as you can see, um, my twists have really good definition. Um, my hair came out really soft. This product combination um, gave me good hold for my twist without making my hair feel crunchy. So now that I have all of the twists down, I'm going to begin separating the twists so that I can get a little bit more volume in my hair. Um, I find that when I use gel and I have good hold on my hair, I can separate my hair a lot without causing too much frizz. So now I'm just taking my pick um, to try to get rid of some of the parts in my hair and to give my roots a little bit more volume. So here are my final results. I really like the way that this twist out came out. My hair is soft, it's defined, and it has pretty good volume. I plan on doing more twist out styles and showing you guys other products that I like to use to style them. Don't forget to like this video and to subscribe to my channel for more content and I'll see you next time.